Carpentry Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Carpentry Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Lesson 2, Learning Outcome Number 1. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to check condition of tools and equipment. Definition of terms. Finishing materials. Chemical or substance applied in finishing carpentry. Hardware. Metal supplies used in furniture. Stock. Refers to a lumber for a certain carpentry job. Label. Refers to the indicated name of tools and equipment. Lubricants. Oils or grease which is used to help the machine to run smoothly. Inventory. The accounting of tools and materials. Substrate. Wood to be cut in a cutting machine. Perimeter. The bounding line or curve of a plane area. Power tools. Handy machines operated by current or electricity. Scalar. Mark for use in measurement. Standard. Serves as a measure of reference. Store. To put tools and materials in their proper places. Segregate. Set aside things from the others. Mensuration. The act or art of measuring. Before we start of the lesson, what do you think are the uses of these tools? How about these tools? Our topic is Check Condition of Tools and Equipment. Classification of Hand Tools Classification of Hand Tools Hand tools are classified according to its uses. These are measuring tools, marking lining tools, testing tools, edge cutting tools, tooth cutting tools, boring tools, holding tools, miscellaneous tools, portable power tools, PPE or personal protective equipment, and driving tools. The following are the tools that are used for measuring. First is the pull-push rule. These are flexible tapes that slides into a material case and it is used to measure regular and regular shapes. Ruler. 12-inch or 1-foot rule and it is used to take or make simple measurements. Meter stick, a 1 meter long measuring device used to measure a workpiece. Tri square, a squaring, measuring, and testing tool used to check adjacent surfaces for squareness. Caliper, used to transfer measurements from the rule to the work. Next are the marking lining tools. First is the pencil. It is used to lay out or mark cutting lines for drawing the projects. Marking gauge. Wood or metal tool consisting of a beam, head, and a point used to mark parallel line to the grain of the wood. Chalk line, used to establish a straight line on a surface. Divider, tool with two metal legs used to lay out an arc and circle or step up division on a line. Compass, used to scribe arcs and circle 
in a metal or a wood. The following are the tools used for testing. Dry square, a squaring, measuring, and testing tool used to check adjacent surfaces for squareness. Dry square is considered as both measuring and testing tool. Steel square. Steel square is a framing square used to mark out the work for squaring and checking of angles and it is used in the construction of roof framing and large furnitures. Spirit level. Tool used for testing vertical and horizontal surfaces. Plumb pub. Tool used to test the vertical and horizontal surfaces. The following are the edge cutting tools. Chisel. Tool used to trim and shape wood. Spoke shape. A small plane like tool for irregularly shaped objects. Cabinet scraper, rectangular piece of steel with two cutting edges used for working flat and curved shapes. Next are the tooth cutting tools. First is the cross cut saw. It is a hand saw used to cut the wood across the grain. Rip saw. A hand saw used to cut the wood along the grain. Back saw. A hand saw with a metal back and plywood and joinery. Compass saw. Used to cut irregular shape either in large or small board. Turning saw. Used to reap cross and cut curves in lumber. Coping saw, a U-shaped saw used for cutting irregular shape in small board. Dovetail saw, a small back saw with a straight chisel type handle used to cut very fine joints. Next are the boring tools. Auger bits, tool used to make hole in woods. Expansive bit, tool used to drill holes of various sizes in woods. Drill bit, tool used for boring holes either in metals, woods, or plastics. Next are the holding tools. C clamp. It is used for holding together pieces of lumber while working. Bench vise. Used to hold any materials or tools in place. Bar clamp. Used to hold large boards or frames together while assembling or gluing. Miscellaneous tools. Oil stone, used for sharpening edge of cutting tools such as chisel. Files, used to smoothen metal and wood surfaces. Paint brush, Used to apply paint or varnish on wood surfaces. Nail set. Used to drive the head of nails lower than the surface of wood. Next are the portable power tools. First is the electric sander. A portable power tool used for sanding furniture pieces. Router. Used for shaping surfaces and edges of furniture parts. 
jigsaw, a power tool used primarily for cutting curve or irregular shapes of wood surfaces. Circular saw, a power saw used for many types of cutting, particularly on a large panel stock. Electric drill, a power drill which is used to drill holes in various materials to perform a multitude of tasks. The next classification of tools is the PPE or Personal Protective Equipment. First is the goggles. It is used to protect the eyes against flying debris and harmful liquids. Ear protector. Used to protect the ears against high frequency noise. Face mask. It is used to prevent the inhalation of sprayed paint fumes. Gloves. It is used to protect the hands while working. Apron. Used to protect the worker against flying debris. And lastly, the driving tools. Claw hammer. Used to drive and pull out nails on wooden surfaces. Mallet. Made out of wood or rubber, used to drive other tools like chisel. Nail set. Used in setting the head of finishing nail below the surface of the wood. Screwdriver. Used to drive and loose screws. A time to remember. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.